just so excited. Like, I don't even, I can't even talk. Like, I'm just so excited for the league. Over the next few hours, we'll watch 75 lives change. The NBA 2K League's future is very, very bright. There's a ton of new talent coming in, including 22 international players representing nine different countries. With the first overall pick in the NBA 2K League draft, Jazz Gaming selects. Now I'm kind of freaking out a little bit because this is history. What was going through your mind when you got selected? Uh, just too happy. Uh, I forgot my uh, draft hat because I just wanted to go on stage. We can't come. We don't sleep. So it's uh, it finally pay off, man. It, it, it's a great feeling. It's amazing. On NBA 2K TV this week, the NBA 2K League Season 2 Draft. Hear directly from the players and managing director Brendan Donahue from this historic event. Then, the latest in the neighborhood and your top plays. I'm standing here with Brendan Donahue, the managing director for the NBA 2K League, and we are at the season two draft. Brendan, how are you doing? I'm great, and I'm glad you're here. I am super excited to be here. I can feel the excitement in the air. What is going through players' heads coming into season two? I think it was easier for the players last year. Once they made it, they knew they were in. This year, we have 198 players for 75 spots. So there's a little more nervous energy in the building, which is, you know, it makes for a drama, but it's it's uh, definitely a little nerve-wracking. Now the NBA 2K League is going global. I believe we have 22 players from nine countries yes. and also female representation potentially coming into the draft. What does that mean for the NBA 2K League? I think what it means is hopefully it's, there are people in other countries or there are women watching that are inspired by that. They, they, they realize there's a chance for them to be a part of the NBA 2K League if they're just good enough. And so that's, that, that's, that's awesome for us to see. If you were drafted, what position would you play? What would your my player play like? What do you think you could add to the 2K League? Right now, I'm between my, my, I have a center and a point guard. I'm working on my, my right stick skills. I think point guard. All right, awesome. <laughs> Brandon, thank you so much. We're all excited Thanks, for the bro. draft. Welcome to a very special edition of 2K TV. I'm Chris Manning. And I'm Alexis Morgan. This week, we're coming to you from the NBA 2K League draft in Brooklyn. Now, it's kind of crazy to think about. Out of thousands of players who have competed to try to get to this moment, only 198 players are eligible for tonight's draft. And only 75 players will be drafted. That's kind of crazy to think about. Now, of course, they have lots of landing spots, but there are four new teams coming into this year's draft. We have Atlanta's Hawks Talent Gaming Crew, LA's Lakers Gaming, Minnesota's T-Wolves Gaming, and of course, the Brooklyn Nets GC. And we caught up with Nets Gaming Crew earlier. I am joined by Nets GC. I got Nate, Shockey, and OG King Kurt, the general manager and head coach of Nets GC. Gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us. I have to ask you, this is your hometown. The draft is here. What is going through your head? It's unbelievable. A lot of energy is going to be here, a lot of fun, a lot of excitement, ready to establish a culture. I think it's a great opportunity for us to host a 2K League draft, and uh, I'm very excited to get started with uh, building upon the two players that I have selected so far. Now, what can you bring as players that playing at your respective positions? What do you think you bring to this team, and how do you think incoming players will accommodate what you guys do? You know, I'm kind of a defensive-minded guy, so I sort of pride myself on that end of the floor. Um, I think we're going to be able to bring in guys that can do it both offensively and defensively, so as long as that kind of just pairs up with what me and Shockey can bring to the table, I think it'll work. Yeah, versatility is big with us. Um, knowing that Nate can play three, four, or five, I could play four to five. So um, just knowing that we have the ability to switch it up on when things aren't going right, and if we had to switch things up, then we can um, see and go forward from there. There are a lot of familiar faces here tonight. Nearly every player who was pro last year is returning to this year's draft pool. And of course, there's a ton of new talent coming in, including 22 international players representing nine different countries. The Utah Jazz have the first pick. I'm excited to see who they draft. Same here. And of course, it is now time to see who's going to fill out those 21 teams here at season two's draft of the NBA 2K League. It starts now. With the first overall pick in the NBA 2K League draft, Jazz Gaming selects Rhea from Washington. 
What was going through your head as you walked across that stage and got your name called? I was just overcome with emotion, really. Like, it's, it's nothing more to it. You sit here, you prepare for this moment, you think you're ready, and then it happens. And it's, it's nothing like it. It's nothing you could possibly imagine. What has it taken to get to this point in time? I played online six hours a day. Uh, anytime I could, anytime I had free time, I would play 2K, and that's what it takes. So you got that big target on your back now that you're the number one pick. You saw it last year with Dimes. You feeling any pressure, or are you pretty much good to go? You know, no pressure, really. I should fit right in, and we should be a favorite. What advice would you give to people out there that are looking up to you and aspiring to get into the 2K League? Never give up, really. Like, you know, you're going to have doubters. You're going to have people who say it's not possible, you're not good enough. But if you put in the hours, and you have, you know, people who really want to see you succeed, so it gives you that drive, and it's impossible not to make it. Warriors Gaming Squad selects Gradient. I'm feeling great. It's a crazy experience. Finally get my name called, man. I've been waiting a long time for this. Now, what can fans expect from you and what you can bring to this team? Uh, defense, for sure. I'll bring defense. I'll set the tone on defensive edge. But I still will get you buckets when you need it, for sure. Pistons GT selects Mr. Styles from New York. I was always a gamer, but uh, as far as job-wise, I was a doorman in the city. <laughs> so that's about it. And now people are going to know his name with Pistons GT Styles, fourth overall pick. Mavs Gaming selects Pete B. Ballin from New York. What can fans expect from your game and how you're going to fit into this team? The type of play style I run is really a pick and roll type of play style. Having a, a dominant center like me, I feel like I bring more than my game. I feel like I bring a positive leadership and a leader type of player on the court, which is definitely something people should look out for and me as a teammate. It's the Neighborhood Scout, and I'm the 2K MC. Let's take a break from the NBA 2K League draft to see the upcoming 2K compete events. Blocks, beats, and house rules, baby. And 100,000 BC on the line for the free throw tourney. You shoot standing still with no defense. Now run the graphic. It's 2K TV interactive time. While you're checking out the latest 98s, I'm asking you, who got drafted with the first overall pick from the 2019 NBA 2K League Draft? It wasn't Dimes. He went first overall in 2018. You gotta wait for the full context of the question. All right, enjoy the rest of our draft special and vote later for your top play of the week. With the seventh overall pick in the NBA 2K League draft, Grizz Gaming selects Vandy from Ohio. Now that you know the team, what do you think you can bring to the table? I think leadership. Uh, I started playing competitive pro two years ago. I had my own team, so I was kind of the vocal leader on that team. So, you know, Authentic's kind of are the leader there, but I think I can bring something up as well uh, there too. T-Wolves Gaming selects Bear to Beast from North Carolina. All right, so have you ever been to Minnesota? I have not, but I heard it is cold. I heard it's cold. Yeah, bring a jacket for okay, sure. Couple. And then heat it up on the court. So you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hawks Talon GC selects Dev Goss. We go way back, Dev Goss. How you feeling, man? Oh, man, this is such a surreal feeling for me. Having been a coach with being a player now, so that's a very rare kind of thing in this league. I think it definitely made me grow up and mature, and now I'm, I'm ready to get to work. Raptors Uprising GC selects I'm So Far Ahead from Virginia. I actually met you for the first time in 2016 or whatever year when GFG played Druckenbachers in the road to the uh, finals. Uh, that's where we first met. That moment right there made me go extremely hard for this 2K, uh, man, and it inspired me. Definitely work ethic is what's going to separate uh, the good and the great players, and, and that's what I pride myself on. What was going through your head when you got selected? It, it's crazy. I'm from Milwaukee, my hometown team. So you're not going to move anywhere? Not you moving. <laughs> you have some history playing 2K Pro-Am. I've been playing team up, team up, team up. I actually played my first Pro-Am tournament last week, and I actually, we won the tournament. Now we got famous for being my coach, and now it's going to be way easier now.
I'm the 2K MC, and it's time for your 2K TV Wow Top Plays of the Week. Yeah! Getting started with Off-White B-More. Using the Euro to get by two defenders and jamming it down with the foul. Got him jumping with the move and making them pay. Now it's Nike Astronaut in the streets. Oh, foul! Drawing the foul and tossing the rainbow three for the win. Don't foul jump shooters. I mean, you all know you can contest without jumping, right? No! It's called a pro stick. <laughs> now we're in triple threat with the Moonwalker. Pink Diamond Weber with the denial at the rim and cashing in the green three to get that W. That is a nasty triple threat lineup right there. But seriously though, man, how about that block? <laughs> I can't even believe you tried that. Now we're in Pro-Am with our hammer. Down 16 with 33 seconds to go. You gotta, you gotta find me. There is no way. You can't lie, we actually did make a little run with that. Hitting three after three and stealing every inbound to take this game in an epic comeback. Oh! -ho! Why can't the other team just inbound the ball or use even one of your timeouts? <laughs> now vote for your favorite play. And y'all better remember to submit your highlights to social media using the hashtag 2KTVWOW. Don't let me down, because I will find you. 2KMC is out. It's amazing just to even see all the representation from like the international players that could be drafted, now seeing the chance and opportunity for women to be drafted. Like, all this growth is just so great. With the second pick of the fourth round in the NBA 2K League draft, Warriors Gaming Squad selects Chiquito, 126. <laughs> Set this room ablaze. Chiquita is in the league. Now, I'm kind of freaking out a little bit because this is history. You are the first woman, female representation, finally in the NBA 2K League. What does that mean for girls and women that can look up to you and what kind of role model that you can be for them? It means a lot. I feel like that with me getting drafted, that women should be inspired to not give up. If you want to play in the NBA 2K League, grind, perfect your game, learn your weaknesses, fix your weaknesses, increase your strengths. Do whatever you need to do to get yourself out there and compete. Don't give up. Speaking of grinding, what did it take you to get here to this point in your life? Sleepless nights. Uh, <laughs> there was times where I would be up 2, 3, 4 in the morning playing 2K. Combine itself was crazy. And then, like, for the qualifying wins, the 100 games, I got my 100 games done within, like, four days, four or five days. So I grind to the point to where I was getting, like, 20 wins every day. Um, finished with like a 94 win percentage. So for me, it was a huge grind and I just wasn't gonna give up. Now, what was it like hearing your name being called and knowing that you're gonna join an organization like Warriors Gaming? It was amazing. I had a conversation with the organization, of course, and the fact that they were willing to take a chance on me and to actually, you know, pick me, speak volumes, and I'm just very blessed, and I'm just ready to be the best teammate in whatever role they need to put me in or whatever role I need to fill, I'm ready to do it. One more question for you. Before you have the claim to say I'm an NBA 2K pro player, what was your journey like to get here to this moment? I started off playing basketball, I play uh, high school, AAU, college, and semi-pro basketball. Played semi-pro for like three years, and I actually was looking to go overseas, but I turned it down. Um, so then that's when I got into 2K, um, and that's when my grind began. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us. History was made tonight, the first woman to play in the NBA 2K League. Congratulations from everybody here at 2K TV. Go kill them out there. <laughs> thank you.
What's up, guys? I'm Blake, and with the second draft in the books, let's take a quick look at how the team's rosters shook out. After taking retained and traded players into account, we entered the draft with 75 spots to fill. King's Guard, who will they take? With King's Guard and Mavs Gaming returning with only one player from last year. On the other end, 76ers GC, Blazer 5, and the defending champion Knicks Gaming kept four players on their rosters headed into the draft. The four expansion teams' rosters are now filled, with Lakers Gaming grabbing five 2K League veterans and Nets GC choosing four rookies to launch their franchises. Somewhat of a trend, one-third of the teams drafted only rookies in this year's draft, where many teams use their final picks to draft Season 1 veterans. In fact, Wizards District Gaming and Raptors Uprising GC used two draft picks to bring back their own Season 1 players. The landscape has changed. Will experience prevail, or will the rookies take over Season 2? We're ready for the tip-off to start things off on April 2nd. this week in Brooklyn. Thanks for watching. Congrats to all the players drafted in the NBA 2K League. We can't wait to see what's in store for season two. We'll see you guys next week in the studio.